Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's interview. Today's interview is with Wolverine653 as we all know him. We also know him as Commando Arc, the leader of the United Republic of Reach. So what is a uh, little bit of your clan history? Basically, I started off in like two years ago. Two years ago, when back when I was in matchmaking, when I met this kid named Rogue Assassin BR. And he told me, oh, would you like to be interested in the clan? And I'm like, sure, okay. If I'm pretty good at it, then yeah, I guess I'm why not. So he set me up, whatever. I can't remember what the clan name was called, but it was a small clan at first. And then like maybe like a couple months later, we fought like clans like DGA, Imperium, and I didn't even know these clans. And then basically it shut it down and then I met this other kid named Sniper Gen 13. And basically his clan was called USSR or United or USOR. USOR. Yeah, it was called but USOR. Um basically United Spartan Operations or something like USOR. I can't remember. But um basically the clan was really good. We had around like 30 40 members tops last about like two three months and then basically shut it down due to the fact that he went to call of duty he turned into from halo clan person to a call of duty person and then i took over command around like a year later i led a clan called the golden warriors golden warriors basically we let we were pretty good we were really good actually like around like 20 30 40 members tops we had a couple members going here leaving there all that stuff and then we just fought a whole bunch of other clans out there it was really good and then now today i am leading the urr once again because the original leader z4 bros used to have this name and he gave me the ownership of this name which i thank him for so, any other questions? What is your current member count? My member count is around 65 to 70 plus members. Now, you've been through a lot of name changes, um, especially since Third World Army, and uh, you've gotten a lot of hate for it. So, uh, why have you gone through so many name changes? Well, just to get away from all the drama, to be honest. Just to get away from all the drama from all the hatred and stuff and I'm just like I'm not worried about it actually I'm really not actually worried about all the hate and stuff I just take it like a man and deal with it actually now for some time people have been throwing a lot of flack your way and hate and uh, it's not only the community but uh, my competitors channel and a lot of other people have been just constantly hating on you and why do you think that people don't target your clan exactly but target you specifically with all this hate well that is a really good question to be honest that i kind of say that some people like to betray and some people follow me as good friends and some of them let go or whatever it's like do or die or whatever I'm not sure, not quite sure exactly now, back in Third World Army, you boasted, I think it was like a 29-1 in one raid win-loss statistic. And people were all over you based on raid rules. They said that your uh, win-loss statistics were mocked up a bit. So, that brings me to my uh, question. Why do you think that it is so hard for some people to accept a win or a loss based on raid rules? Some people think I use OP bases, which I can conclude on some of those clans that I did raid. I used a little bit of OP bases and I went too much on them and I didn't realize what I was doing at first. But now to the point of that about that, I mean, I really do think that was really kind of messed up about that because I used too much LP bases and then then I didn't follow or regulate all the rules and we didn't specific we didn't specifically gone over them or gone over the terms the correct terms 
some of the other clans that were attacking us, that we were attacking, most of them used OP bases as well, and we were like, well, if we defend, we, why not? We use OP bases to steal their maps and use them. That's what we did back in TWA when we had it. Now, you basically went by uh, 2014 raid rules, right? Well, we went from 2010 raid rules to 2014, and we went all over the place. Now, what are your plans as far as United Republic of Reach goes? Well, for my plans of the future, I would like to make, I would like make this clan my last clan. That would be probably my last clan. Maybe might expand it to MDC, which we will be on MCC actually, and we'll be on Halo Five as well. Um, if Halo Five and MCC don't go well, then we'll just stay on Reach. And then just do whatever we want and stuff, but we'll be we'll be fine. We'll be pretty fine. All right. Uh, during your move over to MCC in the next gen console, maybe even for Halo Five, um, what's going to be your biggest issue with moving over to the next gen console? Biggest issue with moving? That's probably the people of my recruits that have don't have an Xbox One. All right, that's about all the questions I have for this interview. Um, do you want to say something like a recruitment message or even ask me a question? Well, I would like to thank for you. Thank you for doing this interview, actually. And I would like to thank mo all my members that are watching this video, like ODSTP Murphy and Clumsy0015 and a couple other guys or whatever. And um, we're still looking for more recruits. If you would like to join, just message me, Commando Arc, and we would like to do raids, like to do battles and stuff. So that's about it. All right, this has been Halo Clans and Commando Arc signing off.